Welcome compadres. Today we're going to learn how to mathematically model our data with a log normal distribution and then get our P90, P50, and P10. So if you recall in the uh, introductory video we talked about putting our data on a plot and fitting it with a straight line. In the case of a log normal distribution our straight line is going to be a equation of this form up here. So the first step we want to do is we want to plot the natural log of our random variables or our data versus our z-score. So over here we've already determined our z-score. Um, we just want to determine our natural log of our data values. And then if we plot our z-score versus the natural log of our data values or random variables, you plot that on a line right here. So it's already been plotted. You can see that uh, we fit a straight line through it using linear regression and we end up with an equation of this form. So we can directly extract the standard v deviation and mean of our log normal variables right here. So um, the next step we want to actually extract some values at certain uh, probabilities. So but before that I'm just going to confirm that these values are correct by just using the linear regression function in Excel. So we're just going to do um, to determine our mean we just want to use the intercept function. And it's going to take our x and y's. In this case, our x's are going to be our z scores. Well, our y's are going to be the natural log of our values data. Freeze that. And then our x's are going to be our z scores. and then I'm just gonna run this down and change this to the slope to get our standard deviation and you can see here these values agree with our linear regression values so we know we did it right so we're good to go so now we want to determine some values that are probabilities, 90% cumulative probability, 50% cumulative probability, and 10%. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just solving for x in this equation. I wrote a VBA function for that. It's called the uh, log normal inverse. So it's going to take our mean up here, so our mean, freeze that, our standard deviation, which is our slope, and then our cumulative probability value, and these are the values we get for our P90, P50, P10, and if you compare them to our earlier values, um, they're a little different but this makes sense because um, our fit up here quantified by this r squared value is uh, 0.927 which is uh, not as good as our normal or our uniform probability distribution plots so that's how you mathematically model your data with a log normal distribution so one advantage of the log normal distribution over our normal and uniform distributions is that uh, we won't get negative values and that's kind of one of those things as an engineer why you'd want to use this plot because if you're putting permeability values on here and you fit it with a normal distribution you may get negative values with a log normal plot you're not going to get that so this is kind of one of the useful things about the log normal distribution over the normal and uniform distribution and other distributions so um, that's just a little tidbit why you'd want to do this the next video we'll look at the exponential distribution so um, I'll see you next time adios